I saw it a long, long, long time ago. So it was, it was good to sit down and do a good deep soak in it. Um, I love that Kubrick was doing a piss take on the highly planned synchronized heist movie in which he shows it all being set up. And then each element, there's some weird bit of humanity that comes in that ruins it, which to me was really incredible that, that he's saying, when you watch these like clockwork, brilliant uh, robbery films, uh, but in reality, this is how it actually goes down. It's usually a big goddamn mess and fate just comes and pisses on you. And it's, and again, there's Timothy Carey. Uh, again, just, just, and again, this was, I think one of the shortest films he ever made before he went, you know, big, then all his movies became big and ponderous. This one was because he wasn't Stanley Kubrick yet. He had to kind of, chafe against whatever the studio wanted and he found creative ways around that which i thought was great it made the movie even better but um uh i remember reading that um timothy carey's character uh nikki arcane the the sharpshooter he um he talks like this all the time he always has his teeth clenched yeah that was timothy carey's choice what he wanted was he wanted the character to already have a death rictus because he's going to die Mm. so he decided to play him like a living corpse Wow! Just like all these weird little, I know. It's, what a choice! Holy shit! Yeah. And then having like Elijah Cook Jr. in there, yeah. mm. being Elijah Cook Jr. <laughs> and oh, yeah. um, the great fight with the and 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 there's that there's this ongoing debate because there's there's a theory that Rodney Dangerfield is in the bar scene in the background. He's like, I don't think it's him. I okay. just don't think it's him. God, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like it could be Rodney. I don't know. And there's also a great scene when. Shirley Hayden goes to buy the secondhand suitcase to pack all the money mm. into. And um, he walks by a poster for Burlesque Show and Lenny Bruce, yeah. <laughs> which is like, oh, okay. 